Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to map a, a water mask based on the JRC Global Surface Water Data. Um, so this is a published work. Um, um, it uses data from 1984 to 2022 at the time um, uh, of this recording. And so this is a published work and it used uh, Landsat Data Archive. Uh, Landsat satellite data to uh, develop this product and so this product has different layers uh, today we're going to use the maximum extent um, layer which is a binary um, image containing um, one anywhere water has ever been detected uh, since 1984 so you know any location that there was water uh, or water occurred, whether it's flooding or permanent water, um, since 1984, uh, it will have a one, and then everything else um, will be zero. So we're gonna use this. This is mostly used for just you know a water mask or masking water from other products, and um, yeah, you might have you know different use cases, but let's just um, see how we can uh, generate this binary product. Um, so uh, before um, we get started, we can copy this um, or just, uh, you know, go ahead and copy this uh, image collection. Uh, this is the main uh, image collection here. I'll have to, uh, all right. And then uh, create a variable. Let's say global surface water uh, layer. And then let's just um, create a semicolon here. And... So this product, as I mentioned, has different layers. We're gonna use the max extent layer. Um, so let's create a variable, say water, for example, global surface water, select. Um, so we're gonna use the max extent layer, okay? And so the max extent has, you know, uh, a binary value. Uh, zero is for non-water area, and then one is for water area. So we can, um, instead of like mapping both one and zero, we can remove the zero values, non-water areas, by applying a mask. So let's create a variable masked is equal to, and let's just uh, call this water uh, layer. And then we're gonna uh, apply update mask. So what this does is it will remove any um, zero value. Okay, we have a typo here. Uh, it should be update mask. That's why. Um, and then it this um, this this layer itself. So that will uh, remove any uh, you know zero value. And you know alternatively, we can also use self mask to. Uh, remove the zero values so we can um, say masked water uh, if you say self mask um, we can also um, it's just the same effect technically we can use um, both options all right so last thing is map at later let's, let's display this mask layer and masked and uh, we don't uh, we don't provide a coloring here. We'll just uh, leave it empty so that we'll have a dark uh, color for the water mask data. Let's just put this in quotation since it's a text. Um, that should be it. And once we execute this code, we're gonna see um, you know a water mask data um, for the entire planet. And so what this water mask does is uh, it will only provide um, any location that has, um, you know, water or just there was water occurrence observed since 1984. So this is the timestamp that this data started. So when I execute this code, uh, it will show me a place. Actually, we can, um, we can um, define color here instead of a dark image palette let's define a, a color here just uh, let's make it a little fancier 
All right, so we can go ahead and execute that and excellent. So now I have my water mask data here, as you can see. It's the satellite data, for example, this is like Victoria. Uh, you can see that um, anywhere, uh, you know, that, that has um, uh, water observed or water occurrence um, since 1984 will show me this blue color. So this is just a binary uh, whether in any given location there was water was observed, uh, be it in a temporary flooding or seasonal flooding or a permanent water body like, you know, river or lake. So, um, you know, this is, um, and the special resolution of this data is, you know, 30 meter uh, for any given location uh, on the planet. Um, so you can see that here. Let's just zoom in um, some other locations here. This is source of the Blue Nile. Um, and you can see here, so this is a permanent river and then just lake here. So that's how you generate the, um, mind you, uh, this is not perfect. And some of the limitation of this product is that is that it's great in terms of temporal coverage, uh, continue, uh, continuous, uh, um, you know, time series coverage because it's uh, um, starting from 1984. That's a long time series data. But the limitation of uh, this product is the special resolution is coarse at 30 meter. So uh, you, you can see some, you know, um, the pixels uh, are not representing, uh, you know, the, the, the channel geometry properly. So if um, one of the things that this product can be improved in the future is um, using high resolution data or just uh, improving the, the spatial resolution of this, this product. But, but still, this is a pretty useful product for, uh, you know, many applications. Yeah, so that's how you generate uh, a water mask, mask data from uh, GR, GRC Global Surface Water Product.